Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Charmin. I created this channel to chronicle my journey with hyperpigmentation and melasma. And to me, that means trying on a bunch of different mineral sunscreens on my dark skin to see which one suits me the best. Um, I also share products that um, have been helping me to improve my melasma and hyperpigmentation. So um, if this is content that really interests you or you find this video helpful in any way, then please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button before you leave. So today I'm really excited to actually um, talk about a new product that I've been trying. Um, it's been going around the YouTube skincare community world for a couple of months now. I've heard it mentioned twice from the same person, um, and that is the ingredient cystamine. So um, if you don't know what cystamine is, cystamine is uh, Dr. Alexis Stevens, who is a, a board-certified dermatologist here in the United States, um, appeared on Mixed Makeup's channel, so Susan Yar's channel, and talked about one of the, like, the most you know, new, innovative, innovative sort of ingredients that um, is supposed to be very groundbreaking for uh, skin of color because it is supposed to be safe and hydroquinone free um, and target really stubborn melasma. So of course, you know, as soon as I heard that, I my ears kind of perked up. So this was a couple of months ago. But then again, I heard her talk about it on her own channel as well as another YouTuber that I watch uh, here on YouTube who I love, the Style and Beauty Doctor, um, her channel. So um, she mentioned it, you know, several times and I was really interested to see what this product was all about. So I looked it up and unfortunately the name brand version, which is Cispera, costs over I think $200 in the United States if you can even find it in uh, local office. It does not require prescription um, but you can only get it in a limited number of dermatologist offices in the States. Um, I tried looking up the closest office that would sell um, you know Suspera to me and I'm, I'm, I live in New York City so I you know, the closest one I found was, I think, upstate New York or some crazy distance away on top of the crazy price tag. So you know that I got into my research mode and I started researching um, what other alternatives there are. So here are the things I learned and I want to share with you my experience using the Systamine product for about two weeks now. And uh, and I want to share the best deal that I found on this new, you know, innovative ingredient that has been going around um, on YouTube. So first off, uh, the active ingredient in Cispera is cystamine, and that is a naturally occurring antioxidant found already in our skin that begins to decrease as we age. Um, so this ingredient was created, you know, basically to target really stubborn melasma and hyperpigmentation and it is safe for all skin types. Um, many of you watch the same skincare YouTubers that I do so you know probably that skin of color tends to be more sensitive to uh, products especially to hydroquinone and if you're using hydroquinone to target dark spots or melasma it can result in an adverse reaction where the pigmentation comes back worse. So I have never used hydroquinone in my skincare routine and especially after learning this, I never will. So I found this small company that is called All Purpose Cream and they have like a very uh, small website where they sell 5% cystamine cream. Now cystamine is the active ingredient in Cispera, so it's the antioxidant that is actually doing the, um, that is actually stopping the cells that create the pigment in our skin. So um, I purchased this with my own money for $49 and um, I want to be, I just want to share what my experience has been with using this product and also a discount code for 10% off of this product if you're going to purchase it. First off, uh, let's talk about some of the ingredients between uh, the differences between the all-purpose cystamine cream 5% which cost me $49 uh, versus the Cispera cream which costs $200 and I think I saw it 
at the time of filming this video for 175 or 190 something dollars on sale product. Now I obviously did not purchase Suspera, so I'm gonna list the ingredients that I have that I found on their website, and I'm gonna list side by side the ingredients um, on the APC Systamine Cream 5%. So if you look at the Suspera cream, um, that is 1.75 ounces for $200. Um, the ingredients that I'm looking at, I'm looking down on my laptop for to look at some of the notes that I have. Um, but anyway, so Systamine HCI, which is the active ingredient Systamine, that is number three on the ingredients list in the Suspera product. It also has niacinamide, which is very good for skin of color and sensitive skin because um, there, most people tolerate it very well on their skin, so you won't have any kind of adverse reaction with niacinamide or you're less likely to. Um, it has shea butter, which is a good um, ingredient for moisturizing your skin. It has ascorbyl palmitate, which is a derivative vitamin C. It also has sodium ascor ascorbyl phosphate, again, another derivative vitamin C. Now those two ingredients are uh, derivative of the vitamin C, but they're not as well researched as L-ascorbic acid, which is supposed to be the most well researched and the most effective to brighten your skin. Um, so there's not, there's not a lot of evidence that these two vitamin C derivatives provide as much uh, benefits as L-ascorbic L -ascor L acid does. Um, so, but you know, they're less irritating than L-ascorbic acid, so for some people it works. I've used a derivative vitamin C um, in the past when I first started off using vitamin C in my skincare routine, probably over a decade ago now, and I thought I, had, I found good results, um, but again, because there's no there's not a lot of research or studies done on these, you know, vitamin C's. It's hard to tell if it actually penetrates the skin. Uh, now, if I'm reading down the ingredients list, I see something that really sticks out to me, which is fragrance. Now, if you watch Dr. Vanita Rotten's videos um, or Dr. Alexis Stevens' videos um, and Dr. Dre's videos, you know that fragrance is something that they do not recommend on skin of color. And that is because fragrance eventually at some point can cause a skin reaction, um, even if it's not something that you will, you know, have like a adverse reaction on your skin at this very moment, you can develop a sensitivity to fragrance 10 years down the line, five years down the line. And um, especially me because I have sensitive skin, so I've cut out anything with fragrance in my skincare routine for good. I can't say that I've cut out all of the makeup products I use uh, with fragrance in it. I haven't quite taken that step, but anyway, um, you know, I don't use fragrance in my leave-in skincare products at all. So I don't know why they're marketing this product um, for skin of color and then adding fragrance if that has been found to be irritating for some people and irritation causes melasma and hyperpigmentation. So if this is product is supposed to address dark spots and hyperpigmentation, then I don't know why. Okay guys, as I'm editing this video, I'm now realizing that I think the reason Cispera, the brand name, added the fragrance in it is because they're trying to mask the horrible sulfur smell that is probably in the product caused by the active ingredient Cispera. Um, so I don't know why Dr. Alexa Stevens recommended this product for dark skin when she knows that fragrance, you know, can be an irritant on skin of color, leading to more hyperpigmentation. Uh, so I don't know, you know, maybe she has she has a background in, in chemistry in, you know, what is it, cos as a cosmetic formulator, so she probably has some kind of reasoning for why she still likes this product. I then you know, they would add fragrance to it. There could be some sort of scientific reason behind it that I don't know. I Obviously, I'm not a cosmetic formulator. I'm not a doctor. This is just information that I'm sharing based on my own research. And, you know, I get my information from the same sources that you guys do, from Dr. Dre, Dr. Vinny Taratan, you know, all of these popular skincare YouTubers, and obviously my own dermatologist. So um, the rest of the ingredients in Tespera are just like a bunch of, you know, like, their moisturizing agents and their preservatives, which is totally fine. So the other, the only problematic thing I personally see is the fragrance in here. Now let's look at the um, APC all-purpose histamine cream, which is the 
$54 alternative to the um, Suspera brand. Now, um, I purchased this again with my own money. I will continue to use it because you're supposed to use it for 12 weeks to see any results and then you do and then you go into the maintenance phase which is like using it one to two times a week. So um, anyway, so uh, let's look at the ingredients for the cystamine cream now. Um, so the so the fifth ingredient is cystamine. So that means it's a little bit lower down on the ingredients list. Um, I don't see as many ingredients in here as I did for Suspera. It has aloe vera gel in it, which is very soothing and moisturizing for the skin. It has dimethicone, which kind of um, creates like a slippery, smoother texture. I will say the cream is not very smooth in texture. So sometimes it comes out a little bit gritty, but you know I've been loving my results, so I really don't really um, mind the kind of the gritty texture. Now, um, it also has urea, urea in it, which is moisturizing for the skin. I don't see any vitamin C in here um, right off the bat, but uh, or any harmful alcohol ingredients. And the best part, it doesn't have any fragrance in it whatsoever. So to me, um, as someone who is a skincare fanatic, this ingredient is less costly, has less ingredients, and has potentially less irritating ingredients for skin of color than um, the Suspera brand name does, which costs over, you know, $175 or $200 for the same, pretty much the same ounce of product. Now, um, the way that you use this is really unique because it you kind of use it like a mask. So what I've been doing is, um, and I've only missed one day so far in the past two weeks since I bought this, um, I put it, I concentrated on the areas where I have hyperpigmentation. So on the sides of my cheeks, on my forehead, um, in my chin area. Uh, I will say the first time that I used it, I was very put off by the smell. It, it smells awful, you guys. It smells like sulfur, um, but the smell did go away by the third day. I barely noticed it. So I don't know if it's because it was like a fresh product and when you first open it, the smell is really strong, but then it becomes less strong over, over time. Well, a lot of people at least are looking into this ingredient. So I wanted to share this cost, you know, effective alternative that people might want to use and take advantage of instead of the $200 cream, which if you can afford it, you know, good for you, go ahead and buy it. But um, this is what I wanted to try so out. I would equate this to a vitamin C serum so far, except vitamin C serums are, you know, many of you know, it's very unstable. So after three months of use or after a month or two, the vitamin C becomes inactive pretty much. It stops doing what it's supposed to do. Um, this doesn't do that. So, um, you know, you can continue to use it and it will not give any like worse pigmentation. I haven't had any side effects and I have very sensitive skin. I'm using Retin-A retin along with this product. I just make sure to alternate it um, because the way you're supposed to use this is that you leave it on your skin for 15 minutes and then you wash it off. The unique thing that I, um, that I found about this product was that you can actually use it over your sunscreen and your makeup, which is how I've been using it. Um, and I think it's because the antioxidant is so strong that it will penetrate over, you know, penetrate through sunscreen or any other kind of makeup or skincare that you have on your skin. Um, I've been using it on weeknights because um, I'm not really a morning person and I'm rushing to get ready for work in the morning. But you can use it in the morning, that's fine. Um, I just prefer to use it at night because that's when I have the most time. But yeah, so far I've been loving my results. You know, um, in the past two videos that I posted, I think you'll notice uh, like a noticeable improvement in the brightness of my skin. Part of that is because I finally figured out the lighting situation, but part of it is because I've been using this cream and um, I've noticed a really big difference. So I'm going to continue using it. They have like a subscription-based program where you can renew where you can get like this product every three months. I just don't know how long this bottle will last me. So I will probably sign up after I finish this first bottle once I have an idea of how long it'll last me. But anyway, um, I have a 10% off discount code for this product if you would like to use it. I earn a small commission if you do choose to use the link and the um, uh, discount code. You don't have to use it. If it makes you uncomfortable, please don't use it. Um, but if you do, then I really appreciate it. 
sunscreens get really expensive so do skincare products so if you um if you if you're using that code then thank you so much all of that money will come back to this channel so that way i can try more sunscreens and skincare products for you guys you'll notice that they don't really have a lot of followers on instagram or on their website but i promise you it's a legit website because at first i was like why is this brand like nowhere to be found i've never heard of them before but they're just a really small company and you know um i think um i'm so glad i found them because they do have a bunch of other products that i want to try and you know well i i will keep you guys posted but um let me know down below if you'd like me to do a 12 week update or even like a one month update um on me using this product on my skin uh, i'd be happy to do that because i myself want to document the progress to see if it really is helping with my melasma but so far i really do love the effects that i've been seeing on my skin um, and it's only been two weeks so I i'm really curious to see what the final results are 16 weeks or 12 weeks from now but anyway that's all i've got to say about this product um, i spent a lot of time editing and filming these videos and doing demos for you guys in these sunscreen uh, videos so if you found these in any way helpful at all then please give this video a thumbs up and show your support by subscribing to my channel um, but that's it for today thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time